All right, guys, here we go. Our first ever new distributor virtual conference. I am so pumped about tonight and everything that we have to share. Um, we are literally going to dive right in because uh, we have so much we want to talk about and so little time to do it. And we don't want to keep you guys here all night long as much as we probably would enjoy just spilling our brains and hearts out to you guys. Um, so first of all, if you guys don't know me, my name's Alyssa Bowman. Um, I joined this business, you guys, when I was 22 years old, zero experience, zero idea what I was getting into. I barely asked any questions before getting started. I was young, no network, no social media following, no experience in this industry, had not tried a single product. I was a recent college grad and was still working two, sometimes three jobs just to pay the bills. And you guys, at that point in my life, even with a college degree, I had no, I, no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. You can share in the chat if you're still like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. That was me. And I was so terrified that I was going to start at the bottom of corporate America somewhere, work my way up for the next 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 years and decide that's not what I wanted to do. After all of that time invested, time away from home, I didn't know if I was gonna wanna be full-time with my kids when I had kids. I was single at the time, and you guys, um, when this opportunity came into my lap, um, I it was actually from my boss at the time. I didn't find this business on social media like many of you guys did. I actually knew my sponsor, she was my boss at the time. She said, hey, we're gonna sell these things in this store, and, I, again, no questions. She didn't even ask me to join. I saw an opportunity to make some extra money. I wanted to feel better in my own skin. And I thought if I can do both at the same time, let's do it. Okay. I had no idea that I would be here nine years later talking to a group of almost 60 people about my story, training you guys on what to do because I am not outgoing. I am not, I wouldn't consider myself a people person. I'm awkward. Doing this like makes me uncomfortable and sweaty. Um, but I'm here to show you, and tonight you're going to hear from a lot of different people. We're here to show you that you can do this. If this is something that's been put in your path, you're here for a reason, and we are really excited that you are here. So that all being said, that's enough about me. Um, I mean, I could tell you a million things this business has done for me, but you guys are going to hear so many cool stories tonight. So um, I'm joined tonight by several of the top leaders on our team, and they are going to share a little bit of their story with you guys, and they're all going to talk just briefly on a specific topic. So before I introduce you to the first speaker, I want you guys to know that we all started as a beginner just like you did. And if you guys would share in the chat with me how long you've been in the business, I know we have some people on here that have been in for months, even years, but I would love to hear how long you guys have been in the business because I know we're going to have some brand new people on here too. But we all started right where you are, okay? Or we've been where you have been. Um, we've sat there on a Zoom, probably just like this, thinking we are crazy for giving this a shot that will never be as successful as that person. We've been sitting there nervous, doubtful, skeptical, okay? We all had that one crazy moment where we were like, what in the world did I get myself into, okay? We've all been there, so I want you to know that. But none of us had some sort of crazy success story. None of us had huge social media followings or perfect messages or beautiful photos to share all over social media. Um, we are all or were, we all are, or were just where you are right now. Um, and there's a couple of things that have set us apart. You'll hear how different we are tonight when you hear parts of our stories. Some of us are married, some of us have kids, some of us are still in college, some, like, you name it, okay? So a lot of us don't have that kind of stuff in common, but there are a couple things that we do all have in common. And the first thing is that we showed up for our business. Just like you guys are tonight, we showed up and then we continued to show up and we continued to grow our level of belief, okay? Because like I said, most of us were super nervous, doubtful that we could be successful in something like this, but we grew our level of belief. And we did that by personal development, which we'll talk about tonight. And we did it by showing up and then surrounding ourselves with the right people and listening to the right people, okay? Listening to the people that were encouraging us, 
not listening to the people that don't pay our bills that don't understand what we're doing. Okay, so listening to the right people. And then we took action and we failed forward. Okay, that is one of the biggest things that I want you to take away tonight is that you have to take action. You'll never know everything. Even nine years in, I still don't know everything. You have to take action towards your goals. That's how you will learn. Okay, my sponsor was brand new when I started this business. And the girl that she signed up with was also pretty new. None of us knew what we were doing. We learned by trial and error. So while we provide so much training, so many resources, so many sample posts, so many, I mean, so many resources that it's probably overwhelming for you newbies, we learned the most and are successful because we just put it out there. We didn't put so much pressure on individual posts or this or that. We just tried. And if that worked, great. And if it didn't, we tried something else. Okay, so trial and error, but you have to take action. Everything that you do in this business, you will learn from. It'll either be, yes, that worked or no, it didn't. And that's the worst thing that happens by taking action. So I want you to take out a notepad, please, because we're going to fly through some of these topics. Most of these topics we could spend 30 to 60 minutes talking about. Grab a notebook, jot down as much as you can, check the chat because there's going to be things shared in the chat tonight. Um, but I just want to encourage you guys to just listen to everything with an open mind. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just know you can come back. You can watch the recording of this later, but truly we just want you to soak it all in and we want you to learn as much as you can for you that are brand new. We want you to just soak up as much as you can over the next 30 days or so, so that you can take advantage of the season that's coming, you guys, because the spring, the New Year's resolutions, that time in our business is so fun. So the fact that you guys are here building your foundation, learning the company, learning the business, learning how to share these products and the opportunity now is incredible because you guys are setting yourself up to have such an amazing 2021. So we are so glad you here. I'm are here. I'm going to pass it off to Tiffany Piper. Hello everyone. My name is Tiffany Piper and I've been in the business now for five years. When this business found me five years ago, I was not looking for this. It definitely was a God move. I was working 60 plus hours a week. I had a plate full of life. I did have a successful career. My husband had a successful career, um, but God definitely knew I needed more. And it really honestly wasn't until we had a hard loss. We, we really had, in a, in a, I was in the deepest spot I'd ever been in my life. And I was asked about this business and I said yes. <laughs> um, and it was mostly just as a distraction from life. I needed, I needed something to keep my mind off of things in the evening times when my husband wasn't home, um, just to keep my mind sane. And I never imagined that I would fall in love with helping people. I'm not a salesperson, just like Alyssa. I am extremely shy. I'm introverted. I'm not a people person. Like that is not me. And I had every reason to say no or to not be successful in this business necessarily because my plate was full. But here I am today, guys, because I tried and I continue to show up. In seven months, I decided that it was time for me to come home and I I was able to be present in my son's life every single day from that moment forward. I got to be that yes mom. We've paid off debt. We got to, you know, purchase a home recently and do renovations to it. And we also retired my husband from his very demanding career and sent him to the fire academy. And so now he's a firefighter and an EMT, something he's always wanted to do, but financially it wasn't on the table back then. So um, I could go on and on about every single thing that this company has blessed us with. But the point is, and the main thing I want you to hear from my story is that I still have a whole lot of life that's on my plate, guys. But the difference is, is I get to be present in life versus having that plate full of life plus 60 plus hours a week in like of a career and having to worry about asking off work or having to worry about asking for sick days or anything else. Like I just get to take that good, bad, and ugly that God sometimes gives you and embrace every aspect of it and be present. So don't ever sit here and wait for your life to slow down, to get jump started or whatever the case is. Um, because I promise you, you can work this through life and that's what we're here to show you. Um, so the main things that I'm going to talk to you about a little bit is um, a little bit of new business mindset. So you just joined a business. So you welcome to your first day, second day, a couple months, wherever you are in your business to your new business. But what I want you to hear is that 
you, this business only works if you work this business. And if you were to open a brick and mortar company and you just cut the rope of your brand new business, and let's say it's day one of that business, and you only get a few customers, you're not gonna shut your doors because you only got a few customers. You're gonna show up the next day because you just invested a whole lot in that business. And you're gonna open, you're gonna keep going. You, maybe you need advertisement, maybe you need billboards, maybe you're going, the point is, is you're going to continue to show up. So I want you all to look at this business the exact same way and show it for yourself and your why. And we're going to get into more depth about why and mindset and stuff, but I want you to show up every single day for the reason that made you hit that submit button. Okay. Um, and I want you, you may hear be ignorance on fire or just don't worry about knowing everything right away. Praise God that this is a business that you don't have to know every single thing the minute that you sign up. Like that is what we are here for. That is why you have us as sponsors. And if I had to know everything when I signed up, Lordy Moses, that wouldn't have happened. But thankfully we don't have to know that. And that's, I want y'all to know that you have us, you have an amazing, Amazing source of leaders. You have an amazing sponsor, whoever signed you up, lean on that person, lean on this team, send us screenshots if you have questions, but don't feel like you have to get overwhelmed with knowing everything before you just jump in, get those running shoes on and just jump in and trust us. Um, your very first goal in the, in the business, if you haven't been told yet is to get your first six loyal customers. That is going to unlock your very first bonus guys, which is a $150 shopping spree, which is amazing. So if you're asking yourself, what is a loyal customer? A loyal customer is simply someone who agrees to try a product for three months in a row. And it can be any product. They can change their order monthly if they want to, and it doesn't have to be a certain amount. So they can order multiple products month one, change it month two, whatever the case is. They have complete control of those three months. After those three months, they are a loyal customer for life. That means they get our wholesale discount for life, guys. And that's one thing I want y'all to understand about our loyal customer program, because I think a lot of people hear the word auto shipment and they think that that's icky. Guys, that is awesome. Number one, you don't have to worry about anything. It gets shipped straight to your door. Number two, st statistics show that if you use a product three months in a row, you're more likely to see results. And that's one reason why our company does that whole 90 day system. So just keep that in mind, have faith, in our loyal customer program and um, know that we're one of the only few companies out there that actually give our discount, our wholesale discount, the discount that we purchase our own products for, the rep products for, we give that to our customers. There's a lot of companies out there that you would have to become a rep just to get the discount on the products. And we didn't want that. We wanted to give that to our customers. Um, so just know that that is, Absolutely amazing. And if you, they didn't want the auto shipment, there is an option where they could, it's kind of, I, I refer to it kind of like Sam's Club, Costco. They can actually purchase into our loyal customer program for only $50. And that is just a one-time fee if they wanted to bypass the three months. The three months actually waives that $50. So just keep that in mind. And then we do have um, a gold level that is unlocked at four months of auto shipments, meaning they run their auto shipments for four months. They get considered a gold level and they get free shipping. There's a platinum level that unlocks at eight months, guys, and that has even more benefits. Um, you can always refer to eSuite and up in the document section of eSuite, and that's gonna tell you a lot of our promotional stuff and it'll tell you all the details of what they get when they unlock the gold level and what they get when they unlock the platinum level. But guys, just know that our loyal customer program is amazing and so i'm gonna leave you with one goal and my my little challenge for you is if you have not gotten your first six customers i 
challenge you to go out and get those first six customers and unlock your shopping spree by Wednesday at midnight. That's about 72 hours from now. So that is my challenge that I hope that we look up and we see every single one of y'all unlocking your shopping spree so that you can get that product in your hands by Wednesday at midnight. Um, I am going to shoot this over to my little firecracker who literally is about to pop any day now, Kirsten Bacon. Hey guys. So yes, my name is Kirsten Bacon and I am 38 weeks pregnant. So yes, I am ready to pop any moment. But what I want to tell you guys is when I started this business, I was actually pregnant with my other son and um, my sponsor at the time came to me um, because she knew that I was going to need something um, to supplement my income when I was on maternity leave. I used to work full-time at the gym as a personal trainer, group X instructor, boxing instructor. Guys, I literally lived at the gym. So when I go on maternity leave, we didn't have paid maternity leave. They gave me the time off, but I was going to have zero income. And so you know, I worked this business still working full time at the gym. I mean, I found cracks throughout my day to make this business work. I knew that I needed to have this business in a good spot so that when I did leave for maternity leave, I was at a point where I was comfortable. Okay. So the biggest thing that I want to tell you guys about my story with this business is a little bit different. Um, not only did I get into this business financially, but what I didn't realize is how this business actually was going to save me. And the reason that I say that is because I didn't realize how bad of a mindset I really was in. Um, I had some confidence. I mean, being a personal trainer and an, and an instructor, I was still, you know, center of attention. I, I love helping people. I was still giving it my all. But what I didn't realize is I was pouring into everyone else and I was not pouring into myself. And one thing that you're going to see from this business outside of the finances is the family and the support and the legit tribe that we are as a team. You know, people joke that we're in a cult, but we're not in a cult. What we do is we wholeheartedly care for you guys and about your success. And what I gained is the confidence. And I didn't realize how much of a downward spiral I was going in mentally with a history of depression. I, I guys, I wish I could could explain to you how much this business has changed my life, not just financially, but me as a person. I have now grown into the person that I have been begging to be my entire life. And it is from the support from these people, the personal development, the things that I've learned from this business. This business has given me so much life. It's absolutely unreal. So when we tell you guys to latch on to your sponsors, find the people that you can relate to, we mean that and also seriousness because you're going to gain friendships you never thought that you were going to find. You're going to gain relationships that you never thought that you were going to need. I didn't realize how much I needed this business despite the finances. Okay. And so something that we talk about a lot is being able to plug in to your business and plugging in is simply you guys are already doing it being on this zoom that is a huge reason to plug in the zooms and the other trainings that we will have available for you whether it's just us getting on randomly to get some work done and just to hang out with each other or it's scheduled zooms like this plugging in is a huge huge part okay the reason for that is there may be days in all honesty where you're just like okay my business isn't going with the way i wanted it to i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong and then you're like i really don't feel like getting on this zoom and you as a, us as your sponsor we're gonna be like just get on the zoom literally these dt trainings are 30 minutes just get on i guarantee you it's going to change your day and it will you guys getting on that zoom taking in the training, taking in the tips, even if it's not just specifically training, even if it's just tips that we teach you throughout other things that you'll learn about this business, you will feel so much better because you got on. And you'll hear us talk about a lot um, about how, you know, stay close to the fire. That's what a lot of these Zooms do is they breathe life back into your business. So when we say plug in to anything that we, you can, we get that everyone's busy, but if you can get on even just one Zoom, 
one week, I guarantee you those Zooms are going to make a huge difference in your business. And that also goes back to what Tiffany says about staying close with your sponsor. Whether you have a co-sponsor or whoever your mentor is, stay close to them. Guys, when I started, Tiffany was one of my big sponsors. And she'll tell you, I used to ask her like a thousand questions a day because I had, I was that kind of person. For me to understand and to learn, I had to constantly ask. And the only way you're truly going to learn is if you ask. Even if you ask the same question, you just word it five times differently, it doesn't matter. That is what we are here for. So please, you know, a lot of us tell you when we first talk to you and when you first sign up, do not be afraid to reach out to us. We're serious. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to reach out to another leader that you may find a connection to. That's what we're all here for. And lastly, the thing that I want to talk to you guys about too is our team page, our success squad page. Whether you're in it on Facebook and there is a Telegram page as well, sticking or sticking, oh my goodness, plugging into that team page is just as important as getting on Zooms. That's where tons of tips, tons of videos, um, you know, specific how-tos, um, other announcements when the, the company drops announcements, um, just constant like feedback about certain things. If you guys have specific questions and you just need to put it in that team page or you need to get on Telegram, they're all ways of accountability. And that's a big thing for this business. And I know someone's gonna get to talk to you guys about accountability and consistency, but these are just different tools to pull from and just different outlets for you to use so you know that your business is going to be successful, okay? So remember, plug in as much as you can, Come to us, whether again, you have a sponsor or co-sponsor, ask all the questions. Just ask them, there are no dumb questions. Just ask all the questions. And then make sure you guys take hold of the team page. What I'm gonna do now is actually shoot it over to Cassie and she's gonna to talk to us about how to talk about your why. Well, hello, am I unmuted? I think I am, okay, great. Um, I'm going to set a timer for myself because I talk way too much and I'm going to challenge myself to keep this short and sweet. So please take notes and ask your sponsor or any of us about any questions that might come up during this. Um, I've been in this business for about nine months and wow is kind of like all I can say. It has changed my life in so many ways that I could have never imagined. Um, and I want to share a little bit with you guys about um, the importance of your story. And I want to start off by saying, I don't care if you started today or yesterday or nine years ago, like Alyssa, you have an, a story and it is important and you need to share it. And if you can't share it, you're going to find that it is so much harder to find people to join you. If you haven't heard it yet, you'll hear it a million more times. People will not join a company. They will join you. Okay, if people don't know you or if people can't relate to you, it's going probably, they're probably not going to join you. So you need to get vulnerable. Um, and I know that that's hard for a lot of people, but it's a great challenge and it will help you in so many other areas of your life. One of the things that I think is so important that I always tell people is to develop or decide what your five pillars are. And so we refer to these there are five, what are the five most important things about yourself, who you are? The business is something you do, but the business isn't you. You know, so we wanna be posting not like a billboard, we wanna post also about these things that are important to us. So for example, my pillars are my faith, I'm a grad student, I love traveling, I love speaking Spanish, I'm learning the guitar, and I also, I, um, like to post about exercise when I'm not failing at that. So um, I challenge you guys to think about that while I'm talking, drop them in the chat leaders. If you guys could share yours to give some people ideas. Um, and I challenge you in the next 24 hours to send your sponsor a message and just send them your five pillars, just so that it gives you some accountability to establish these and to find topics to post about. Um, and I just wanna jump into these five steps that can help you in telling your story. So write them down again, because it's gonna be quick. Um, but the first one is to talk about what was your life like before it works. And this should be 80% of the story that you're telling. Um, this creates a gap for people to see a need for a solution. You see a problem, so what's the solution? It's kind of creating the space for people to be like, okay, something needs to come in to fix this pain. So what were the pain points? What were the struggles? Do not hide from the weakness, from the pain. Don't hide from it. The biggest interaction that I've ever had and the, the people that I brought in from this business, most of them have been from sharing the most painful things in my life. So please don't be afraid of that. It's made you 
you and it's important to share because it makes you relatable um, and it builds trust. So for me, before it works, I was a recent college grad, um, drowning in student loan debt. Um, I was living in Spain. I lost my job because of the pandemic. I wanted to go to grad school, didn't think that would ever be possible, had dreams of being a missionary, but just dismissed that. I was like, there is no way that financially I will ever be able to be a missionary. Um, and I just didn't know what to do with COVID coming and having no, no income. Um, and I was living paycheck to paycheck and every dream was on hold because of finances. Number two, how did you find it? So how did you find the business? Share with people. And for me, I had a close friend that was in the business. I kept seeing her posts about it. We kind of like talk to her about it. She told me about it. I said, no, I definitely dismissed her because I was like, eh, you know, not for me as probably all of us had <laughs> those doubts. Um, number three, what were you skeptical about? This is important because people have the same doubts that we did. Um, but if you share them from your point of view, you're not exposing them, you're just sharing, you're relating. You're like, hey, I felt that too. So for me, I was skeptical that I wasn't pretty enough. I didn't have the image that was necessary to do this. I didn't have the following, so I would never find customers. I would never find distributors. These things are so relatable for people. I didn't think that I would be the person that would find success in this business. And I'm still mind blown by the way that that has been so false. Um, but if you share these, you're not calling somebody else out. You're sharing where you were at. And then people can be like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone in that. That's so important. Um, number four, what is life like now? This should only be 20% of the story sharing. Most of it should be before the business because that's where people are. Um, but where, what is life like now? Well, I paid off my first student loan. I've earned a huge bonus. I moved across the country to California. I started grad school and I'm able to start paying for these unexpected orthodontic expenses that have come out of literally nowhere, which we all have unexpected expenses. Um, so share about the wins. You want to share about the wins as well as the, the before it works. Um, and this doesn't always have to be financial. That's huge. I am a better leader, I am a better person, I am stronger in my faith, I have the most amazing friends ever. I swear, right now if I got married, most of my bridesmaids would come from this team. Never would have expected that. Like, the people that I've met have literally changed my life. Um, share about those things. It's not only financial. Like Tiffany shared before, she was trying to distract herself from a loss. Like, it might not be finances, but share about all of those things because their people are in so many different walks of life. Um, number five, invite them to join you genuinely give them a true invitation to feel welcome so that they know that they matter to you and you care about them and their well-being because that is how you're going to build this trust with people like hey i want to walk alongside you i want to run toward your goals with you are you willing to take a chance on yourself and trust me to lead you to success something like that and people are like oh my gosh you care about me i matter it's not just for your well-being um, it's so important to connect emotionally with your listener and with the people that you are talking to, your audience. Connect with them emotionally. Don't, don't leave all the walls up. Um, and just share what makes you you because you will relate to somebody that I can't relate to. I will relate to somebody that Sarah can't relate to. Sarah will relate to somebody that Kirsten can't relate to. That's just how it works. So your story is so valuable because you are going to reach certain types of people. And simply by sharing your story, people are gonna start coming to you more than you even expect and more than you have to go to them. Um, so I think that that is just so important and I know that was so fast and I was pretty proud of myself, six minutes guys. Um, but I hope that that helps. Please send your five pillars to your sponsor um, and ask any questions about these points that you might have. Um, and I'm gonna pass it over to Lindsay who is amazing and she's going to share about the importance of showing up for your business daily. And yes, keep taking all your notes. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Lindsay. Cassie, that was so good. <laughs> so good. Um, I'm, I've been in this business for almost six years now. Um, I am a full-time graphic designer. I work full-time. I love my job so much. Designing's in my blood. It's what I wanted to do since I was 15. I was one of those lucky few that knew what they wanted to do. Um, and I do, I love it, but I didn't make a lot of money and I still don't make a lot of money doing that. And six years ago, I, I just got fed up with it. You know, I was tired of seeing my friends travel and say, you know, buy houses and um, just live life in a way that I was unable to. I'm, I was single then, I'm single now, no kids. And so I had this one measly income and I just was like, this is not fair. I'm exhausted from living like this. And you know, you'd get ahead, you get ahead, you get ahead, and then your car breaks down and then you're behind again. And then you get ahead, you get ahead, and then you need new tires. It's always a car thing, right? It's always freaking cars, can't stand them. But 
um, I just got sick of it and cried out one day, prayed to God, like, I can't do this, send me something to do. And that's when two days later, three days later, I woke up to a message in my inbox from my sponsor and I immediately wanted to say no because I'm shy. I have social anxiety. I hate selling things. I don't have a huge network. Um, I just, this was the total opposite of anything I ever thought I could do. And I already knew about it because I'd been watching her. My sponsor's Alyssa and I'd been watching her for years. Um, so I knew a little bit about it and I was like, there's no way that I could do that. But I went for it and I didn't look back. And um, it did allow me to quit that job. And I did it work full time for two years. And then I went back to work, you guys. I truly love my job. I'm not one of those people that hates Mondays. Like, I love it. Um, so anyway, I have the one thing I'm going to talk to you today about is something that I want to tell every one of my new girls on my team. And, and I hope that it really gets through how important this is, you guys. And it's going to sound so simple. But when I say this, this is something you're going to carry through for the rest of your business. Do something daily for your business. At least one thing, you guys. I know when you get started, you're like, okay, I got started. And then your sponsor sends you your checklist or however they launch you. And you're like, okay, I'll do that on Tuesday. And it's like Saturday. No, 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 you guys. This business loves speed. That's why you get 30 days to get your first six customers. Get on it. Um, you're going to think like, well, it's not that big of a deal if I don't sit down and do all those things for another five days. You guys... Five days is like almost a quarter of the month and we get paid monthly. Also, I don't do math, so don't call me out on that math. But you know what I mean? Like you're wasting so much time if you don't just jump on these things. And I like to think of the compensation plan. I'm not talking comp plan, but stay with me here. The compensation plan of like a snowball where you work, you work, you work, you work, you build it, you build it. And all of a sudden it just gets huge and you get this huge paycheck check from all that work you've done and it's just compounded and all that. Our action items and the way we work this business is the same way. If you think I can only, I only have time to send two messages today. I'll do it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Or I only have five minutes to work today. I'm not even going to do it. I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it on Saturday when I have all day. You guys, that one message you've sent that day, <coughs> those, that one giveaway post, which we'll talk about later, that you put up that day, that act, those little action items that you do every day, they add up. So if you can do two messages a day because you have a crazy week, that's 10 messages throughout your work week that you would not have gotten out had you not done that. These things, they build and I work full time. I have to fit those moments into my schedule. And <coughs> sorry, I have allergies. There's like a crazy front coming through here. So I have a cough. <laughs> and so you have to find the time to do that. But in the way you're going to do that, I'll tell you in a second, but doing one thing every day, listening to one zoom recording or one podcast, even if it's a five minute thing, just do something. It adds up. I promise you, it might not seem like it. It might not seem like that one message that you sent that day. It is even read or heard, but that one message you sent that day might be someone who two weeks from there then is like, wait, okay, now I do think I want to lose some weight. Or I, yeah, okay, I'm really sick of living paycheck to paycheck. Or they might come back around a year from now. Don't quit. Stay with it. They'll come back. Almost everyone who has ignored me or told me no has come back around in some way, shape, or form in the last six years. I can confirm that 100%, like almost every single person. So that one message is planting a seed that you're going to thank yourself for later. So do something every single day. Do not waste time, you guys. You join this business for a reason, so work it. <laughs> Don't just jump in and think that you're just gonna make the money and be successful and meet those goals that you set for yourself because you joined. You have to do the work even if it's just one little thing a day. And something that helps that I learned about a few years ago in this business is our six list. Now, if you are so busy, I highly recommend you doing this every single day. Before you go to bed, you're gonna take a piece of paper, your planner, your notes on your phone, whatever you use, and you're gonna write down six things that you have to get done before your head hits the pillow the next day. 
okay? It can be a mixture of personal and business stuff, but I always say at least four of those things have to be business related, okay? Because this is to help your business. Now, you might say, well, I have to do laundry. My kids are out of clothes. Add that to your sixth list. That has to be done. That's important. Your life is important, you guys. So add that. For me, it's groceries, vacuuming the house because I have a dog that sheds like crazy. Like those things that you're grown up, so you have to do, put that on there. But four of those things need to be business related. You know, get up six, host a post send a message to this girl that I've been scared of messaging, follow up with someone who I sent samples to, go live on my page. That's four things right there. And that's going to look different based on where you're at in your business. And it's going to look different based on your goals. Someone who wants to make $300 a month is going to have a different six list than someone who wants to make 10 grand a month. Okay. So if you need help with that, ask your sponsor and they can help you set those daily goals because those daily goals are so important. And when you're as busy as I am, you need to have those items so that when you have five minutes, you can go look at your list and say, okay, what do I need to get done? I have five minutes. I can try to get up some hosted post spam. And then throughout the day, when I have those five minutes, I'm going to check that off. And that's how you work in the tiny pockets of your time. You figure out your action items so that when you have five minutes, you have 10 minutes, you're on your lunch break, <clears throat> whatever it may be, you don't have to think about what you have to do. You look at your list, it's there. And then you don't go to bed until those things are checked off. Okay, that's it. Just be consistent, you guys. Consistency and self-discipline is going to make you so rich in this business. <laughs> that's all it is. Just be so consistent. At least one thing a day for your business and utilize your six list. Utilize your list. Get your KPI tracker. That's really going to help. Um, <coughs> sorry, this cough is killing me. All right, so I'm gonna pass it over to Lydia now, who is going to help to talk to you about social media, which is one of those things you have to do every single day. So listen to her because if you can master social media, it's gonna help you so much with easily getting at least one thing done for your business every day. Okay. Hi. Um, so my story is actually a little bit different for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, no one asked me to join no one messaged me. Um, and second, this is my second time with the company. The first time, um, before the first time I found this company before I was just like my staying home with my son, he was less than a year old. He's like six now. Um, but I was, I had worked full time up until I had him. And then like, I couldn't, I couldn't go back to work. Like I couldn't leave him. I didn't want to put him in a daycare or, you know, all the things. Um, and so I stayed home and my husband is a grad student and well, he's like finishing now, but he was like just starting at the time. And so things were tight. Um, we were living like less than paycheck to paycheck. There was always more month than money left. We were on how to get food stamps to be able to buy formula. Like all the things. Um, and I actually found this company on social media. I kept, I watched this girl for, for months. So I guarantee you someone is watching you and not doing anything. I didn't like any of her posts. I didn't comment on anything, but I would always watch and see what she was doing. And so then I was the one that like reached out to her, um, and asked to join that way. And she's not in the business anymore, but like most of my upline ended up quitting which is one of the reasons when I joined the second time I picked where I wanted to go um I'm just gonna a little plug for this team of I saw a lot of people but I saw a lot of leaders because I was in for a while um and I picked Alyssa because I loved like her story and I love the team and the culture and everything and I've gone farther now than I ever did before I took I was in for like two years and never made it past Ruby and with this team and the way we do host to post. So that's also another plug for host to post. Um, if you don't know what that is, you'll find out in a minute. Um, we do things completely different than we used to, but I went to diamond in seven months as opposed to Ruby in two years. So hear me when I say like, you're in the right place, you're on the right team. Like you can explode if you just put the work in. Um, and it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be like being on your phone, tied to your phone all day. Um, a couple quick social media tips. I could talk about this for like an hour. <laughs> so we're going to try to keep it short. Um, 
first of all, is don't stop posting about you. Like, I, I know when I first started, I just wanted to be like, throw all the posts up, you know, all the like the black, green and bling is what we used to call it from Pinterest to like the join my team and the you need this and buy this and don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't become a Pinterest. Just don't like search Pinterest and it works. Don't become an it works billboard. It works brands themselves. You don't need to brand it works. You need to talk about you and who you are. So don't stop posting about who you are. Don't stop posting about your life. Don't stop posting about your kids or, you know, crazy things that happen in your life. Um, and the other thing is to be positive, like keep posting about yourself, but you want to be like that positive light in people's feed. There's so much craziness going on right now. There's so much negativity. You want to be the light that when people come to, it's, it's like a, like a breath of fresh air. It's not another political post or it's not like complaining about something else. Um, that's another tip. Don't complain on your social media. If you want to complain, do it somewhere else. Don't do it on your social media. Your social media is now your storefront. That's now the open sign for your business and you don't want to be negative and complaining and cause no one's going to want to join you and be with you if you're just like a negative Nancy complaining all the time. Um, and then as far as posting, it doesn't always have to be super original content. Um, a lot of my like funny posts come from, I see someone else posted or I see it on Pinterest or something. And then I'll go to word swag or over or something and just type it out myself and make it a new graphic. So that way it's not, it's not showing up in the Facebook algorithm somewhere else. It is original to your page, um, which is another thing to stop sharing. I know it's like, oh, this is funny. Let me share it. No no <laughs> like just don't don't share anymore because when you share it takes your views down it takes your algorithm down facebook rewards original content which goes to copying and pasting posts we all copy paste posts like i'm not going to say we don't but don't do it if you're going to copy someone else's status take it and save it to your notes don't do it on the same day because doing it on the same day will hurt your algorithm and theirs um, and then tweak it to fit you. Like don't, if it doesn't sound like something you would say, then don't post it. You need like take inspiration from it. If you like keep two of the paragraphs and change the last one to fit your story. We all borrow posts. We all copy posts all the time, but it's never an exact copy paste because we're not copy paste people. We're not all the exact same. Everyone's different. Everyone says things a little bit differently people are going to see you and they're going to trust you and they're going to want to join you, not how well you can copy and paste because anyone can copy and paste. What makes a difference is you. You are the special sauce. You are what is going to attract people. Um, I could go on for a lot, but the last thing I'm going to like leave you with in your action step is you might not take a bunch of selfies. I didn't take a bunch of selfies before I started, but just start. Like we all start somewhere. We all have taken the pictures of like looking up from our phone. <laughs> like We've all done it. Um, go to a window, find some natural light or on the day you're feeling cute, take five pictures, change your shirt, take a couple more pictures with a couple different products. So that way you have your post for the week. If you don't want to show up, like, well, I'm in my jammies all day and I, this is the first time I've washed my hair all week. Like you already took your pictures on the day you washed your hair and took it with some products so that way you can post about it all week. Um, and then you also don't want to take dark pictures. Go download PicTap Go or Lightroom is what a lot of people use. Don't pay for the expensive presets in Lightroom. Some of them are ridiculous. Go look on Etsy. You can find them for like two or three bucks. So that is what I'll leave you with. You can always shoot me a message if you have more questions because I have a lot of information in my head. I think they said in the chat that I'm very green. I'm the resident green on the team, which is just all the information. Um, but I will pass it on to Emily, who is going to talk about personal development and mindset, which is one of the biggest components of this business. All right. Hi, everyone. I am seriously so excited to talk to you guys about this today. 
So my name is Emily Duba. I got started with this business because I was drowning in debt. I was living paycheck to paycheck and I was fighting with my husband all of the time about finances. If you can relate to that, drop a one in the chat. For nine months, you guys, it, I said no. I told my sponsor no until I got to a point in my life where I was so sick and freaking tired of living the life that I was living. And because it took me nine months of fear, doubt, shame, and guilt, I had to tuck my tail in between my legs and reach out to my sponsor and say, what are you doing? And because I did, we are no longer drowning in debt. We have no more credit card debt, no more medical debt. We actually have enough room in our budget every single month that we are able to save money. Like that is mind blowing to me. We've been married for 10 years and this is the first time we have had an opportunity to save. We are no longer stressing and fighting over finances. And you guys, I want you to understand and I want to applaud you because every single day, there are millions of people who say they want to see a difference in their life, but do nothing about it. And you are here tonight taking those first steps and creating a different life for yourself. And it's scary, right? Is it scary? Starting something new can be so scary, but you have a privilege at your fingertips to not only have things happen in your life to cultivate a better future for you, but to impact your little world, your little network of people. So I want to applaud you for that. I want to applaud you for showing up. I don't know how many times in my own life I have created scenarios that tell me you can't do that. No way in heck. Who do you think you are? That's going to be way too sinking hard. Can you relate? Drop a two in the chat if you can relate to that. If you have let fear talk you out of doing something. And I'm here to tell you that from the depth of my soul, I believe that the greatest achievement that you will ever have in your life is right on the other side of the thing that you are most fearful of doing. Okay. And that is scary. I am like nervous and shaking right now talking about it because one of my biggest fears is public speaking. It's getting in front of people, but I have a passion inside of my soul to help people. And I know that if I don't share what is on my heart, I am doing you a disservice. And it is the same for you. You have a story to tell and that story is going to impact people. So get out of your own way. You see, fear has two powers. It has the power to paralyze you or it has the power to propel you forward, okay? And you have to ask yourself, if I look around and I stay afraid, if I stay scared and I stay exactly where I am at right now in this moment, is the future me going to be happy with myself? Is the future me going to be proud of the steps that I have taken? No, because you haven't taken action. So don't allow fear to paralyze you. Do it scared. Do it terrified. Do it nervous. Because like I said before, the power that you have inside you is to impact. It's to encourage, to inspire, and to make a difference. And if you believe you don't have a story like Cassie told you earlier, you are lying to yourself. And fear is a liar. So don't believe it. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about the power of self development because self development, what you say, what you think, who you surround yourself with, what you listen to, it all matters. It all matters. If you are trying to achieve a goal that somebody in your family has never even had the thought that it was ever possible to do, guess what? You are going to be influenced by their negative thinking, by their self-doubt. You have to surround yourself with a community of people who have been there, who have done that, who are going to speak life into who you are. So when it comes to self-development, specifically in our business, there's three different areas that I want you to like hone in and listen to, okay? If you have never been in a network marketing business before, I want you to drop a three in the chat, okay? It is the silliest thing for me when I have people telling me, 
I'm scared that I'm going to fail. And I'm like, have you ever done it before? Have you ever tried this business before? Have you ever done network marketing before? Guess what, sister? It's okay to not know what you're doing. If you've never ridden a bike before, you're gonna fall down. You're gonna have to get back up and try pedaling again. I'm not gonna put you on a bike and send you over to a BMX course, right? That's insane. You are going to start something new and not know what you're doing. It is your responsibility to figure things out, to be resourceful, to ask the questions. If you've never done network marketing before, ask your sponsor, how do I learn about this business? Okay, we all have tools for you. We all have tools that are going to help you succeed. It is your responsibility that you pick those tools up. Okay, I know some of our um, leaders can lead you to YouTube videos, to podcasts, get to events, get with your upline. See, look around you, people who have been talking tonight, if you're like, man, I can relate to their story, we are willing to help you out, willing to, for you, willing to help you learn the business. It's important that you know the heart of our company because if you don't believe in the It Works story and the It Works company as a whole, guess what, sister? You're never going to move forward. You have to believe in what you're doing and you grow in belief by flexing your courage muscle, by reaching out and asking people, how do I learn this stuff? We can't help you if we don't know that you don't know, right? We are assuming that you've got your crap together if you are not reaching out and asking us questions. So go to YouTube, ask your sponsor what podcasts you can listen to, go into your e-suite, look up the reports, figure out what our comp plan is so that you know where you want to go. Okay. It's really hard to hit a target if you don't know what you're aiming for. So figure out what you want to accomplish in this business and then do your darndest to figure out the best ways to utilize what we do. Figure out what network marketing is. The second part is faith. Your, your spiritual journey is a huge component to how you run your business, okay? Because there are going to be people, friends, I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't tell you this, but there are trolls on the internet, okay? Did you know that? Did you know that there are people out there that just seek to kill and steal and destroy your mindset? Not everyone is rainbows and unicorn hairs and pixie dust. Like not everyone is super excited all of the time about their lives. People's lives are hard. They will be jealous of your success. They will be jealous because you put makeup on that day. They will be jealous because your kid's smiling in the picture and their kid's throwing a tantrum in the closet. Okay. It's a matter of, it's truth. It is truth. There are people out there who aren't going to support you. So if you are not rooted in your faith and in your belief in what you are doing is a good work, guess what? You're going to be shaken. But if you are rooted in who you believe that you are called to be, if your faith is your firm foundation, then when those arrows come flying at you and whizzing by your head and trying to take you down, my friend, you will be so rooted that those winds will blow and you will stand firm. The third thing, the third part of self-development that is so crucial, specifically in our industry, is personal growth. Personal. You. You. Not me. Not Sarah. Not Alyssa. Not Lydia. Not Samantha. Not Cassie. You. Every single one of us comes to the table with a different level of baggage, a different level of hurt, a different level of unforgiveness, of shame, of guilt. You name it, you fill in the blank, but we all have issues, right? We all have issues and it's okay, we are human, but it is not okay to allow those issues and emotions to dictate how we are going to continue to live our lives. It's important to figure out why you tick the way that you do. Your emotions are real. It is important to feel them. And my friend, if you are feeling emotions, guess what? So are other people in your network. So connect with them. Tell them you're having a hard day. Tell them your kids are driving you insane because guess what? People can relate to that. 
personal growth is going to look different to everyone. Believe it or not, confidence is a struggle for me. So I have to develop confidence. I have to listen to self-development that is speaking life into the areas that I want to be at, but I'm not yet. And that's okay. You have to fall in love with the process of becoming the person that you know in the depth of your heart that you have been called to be and fall in love with the process that it doesn't always happen quickly. It took us a lifetime to get to where we are at. It's going to take longer than one YouTube video to transform your life. So I'm just going to recap real quick, business development, figure out the business that you're in, figure out what network marketing is. If you don't know where to start, reach out to your sponsor, get so rooted into your faith, pray for your team, pray over your charts, pray over the growth and that you are willing to do whatever your higher power is calling you to, that you would take massive leaps of faith, not because you have it all together, but because you know that you are being called to do something greater with your life. And it's your purpose and your destiny to change the world, change your little world, whether that world is one other person or millions of people, you have power in your testimony. So get firm in your faith. The third thing is personal development. Figure out who you are. So I want to leave you with the fact that failure is nothing more than feedback. It's not the opposite of success. Okay. It's a part of the process. So embrace it so you can embrace your purpose. Thank you guys so much. I am going to pass it off now to Miss Samantha. If you haven't gotten your notebooks out, you don't have pen and paper, I don't know what the heck you're doing, but you need to be taking notes because Sam is about to drop some fire on you. Take it away, Sam. Thanks, Emily. I'm Samantha Sikori. I'm so excited to talk to you guys tonight. So before It Works found me, I was you know, a full-time preschool teacher. I was living paycheck to paycheck. And I just like had the hardest time building a savings. Drop a one in a chat if you had the hardest time building a savings. You always would get a little bit and then something would happen. You would, you know, like Lindsay said, there's a car issue. There's always a car issue. It was always so hard to like build that savings up. We would always have to dip into it. And I just got to the point where I was like, I went to college. I got a degree. I'm a teacher. Like, what, when does the money come in? When does it happen? I was just getting so frustrated watching other people go on these great vacations and just not feeling like I had it together. And I was almost 30. And I'm like, come on, what's good? What, what are we doing here? So I was just in a point in my life where I wanted more. I was like, there's something more out there for me. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but I'm going to find it. And thank God that I did because during the pandemic, I was scrolling through TikTok. I just downloaded the app and I saw Alyssa and she's talking about her story and all these amazing things that is done for her. And I was like, what the heck? I can try this. So I literally like filled out her application and I joined the next day. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to run with this. I'm going to figure this out because there is a life of more out there for me and I'm going to make it happen. So basically I started up and I'm going to talk to you guys about promoting quickly because, and it wasn't just me that promoted quickly. I promoted to our first leadership rank in three months, which is our diamond rank. And, you know, Cassie also did this too. Her and I both promoted in three months to our first leadership rank. And I'm not going to tell you it was easy. I'm not going to tell you it was a walk in the park and we're just super lucky and it just kind of happened for us. But it's hard work and you have to be willing to put in that work. So I'm going to just give you guys some tips on what worked for me. It could be, you know, a little bit different for you, but these are some things that will definitely help you grow your business when you are trying to promote quickly, because it is possible. Like Cassie and I, and a lot of other people on this team are, are here and we did it and it is so possible. So please don't be like, Oh, I can't do that they got lucky or I just don't have that kind of personality or I just don't have enough time. You know, you guys can make it happen if you want it to happen. It is possible. So I encourage you guys to just run with this, especially after Emily just killed it with the self-development and learning about this business. If you guys don't feel some fire from that, I don't know what we're going to do because this business is amazing. So 
one of the things like we've all talked about today, ask questions. Please do not feel like you are bothering your sponsor. We are here to help you guys learn. Like we've all said tonight, we know this is new for you. This was new for all of us. And we don't expect you guys to know everything. So ask those questions. We are here to help you. We're here to guide you. We are here to answer those questions that you just don't know. And if you guys want more from us, let us know. We want to give you guys all of that information that you want. And if we're not giving you enough, or if you just want to get some more information and move on to that next step, please let us know because we can't read your mind. If you guys feel overwhelmed, let us know. We can slow it down. If you guys want more, let us know because we can give you whatever you need, or we can guide you to places that you guys can find it on your own. So please ask us those questions because we we love it. It shows us you're learning. It shows us that you're ready to be here and you're ready to grow in this business. And we can just pour all of that into you guys. So please ask those questions. That's number one. Two, get on trainings. Just like you guys showed up today, show up for your business Tuesdays and Thursdays on those new distributor trainings. I got on every single one of those. I still get on those. They are so helpful. You hear from so many different people. You get tips, you get tricks, you get different, you know, scripts and verbiage that you guys can use. So get on those trainings. And it, you and your sponsor can have a great relationship and they can be teaching you. But if you just hear it from somebody else, like we've been saying, you might connect with them differently or you might just need to hear it five times before it clicks for you. So those new distributor trainings are gold. You're going to hear so many different things from so many different people. So I encourage you guys to at least try to get on to one, but I really think you should try to get on to two of them at least like your first few months in the business because it's going to teach you so many things that you have not heard yet. So trainings, asking questions, and then just do it, you guys. Like just work hard and do it. That's like all I can say. We can give you guys all of the tools. We can give you guys all of the scripts, everything. But unless you guys dive in and do it, it's not gonna work. So just be motivated, be disciplined, be consistent, and just be excited about your business. This can change your life. And like when you guys catch that vision, it is going to be amazing. You guys could have joined for an extra 500 bucks, 2000. You might want 10,000 a month, but the only way you're going to get that is if you guys work hard for it, ask those questions, get on trainings. It's okay if you're scared. It's okay if you feel like you're going to fail. You know, I was ignorance on fire. I just kind of like came in and just did it. And I was like, well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't really have much to lose. But you guys, it worked for me and it can work for you guys too. So just put in that time, put in the energy and just be disciplined. If you guys, you might have to miss out on some things. You might have to do, make some sacrifices, but it's all going to come full circle when you don't have to make those sacrifices down the road. You might sacrifice time now so you don't have to do it with your kids later or with your family later or for whatever you guys are looking for, for from this business. Just think about all those things that you guys can do later because you put in the time and the work now. So just do something for your business every day just work for it guys this is not super this is not super hard it's a simple business just put the time and effort into it and i promise it will definitely lead you guys to success so again ask questions get on trainings and just dive in and do the work because you guys it is so possible with this business you guys can do anything so i'm going to pass it over to sarah and she's going to talk to you guys about host to post and you're going to want to hear about this <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so I have to pee. <laughs> so that's exciting. Maybe it'll make me go faster. And I also have a timer. Um, so I am Sarah Brewer. I've been in for about three years. And um, this is not my normal setup. I am at my grandfather's house in New York. <laughs> um, so I have to sit super quiet. But um, I, that is something that I'm going to touch on at the end of what I talk about the fact that we can take this business with us. And I have never been more grateful for that than this week. Um, but, uh, okay. So three years when, uh, three years ago, when it works found me, um, I was five months pregnant with my first baby. Now I have three babies <laughs> and, um, this business has been in insane, incredible, um, everything that I never knew that I needed. 
Um, I know for a fact our marriage needed this business. Um, I know for a fact that our finances, obviously, you've heard lots of stories about how this business has helped people financially, um, but the friends as well. Um, we're going through kind of like a rough time right now with just family stuff and the friends that I have made in this business, people checking up on me, um, you know, taking care of me, taking care of, you know, the people on my team. It is incredible. So if you just joined this business for some new besties, here you go. <laughs> um, but okay, so I'm going to jump right into um, host a post. Uh, okay, sorry, really quickly. So because of this business, sorry, my brain, because of this business, um, I don't go to work anywhere. Our kids have never seen a daycare. We'll never see a daycare unless we like take them because like I need a break. Um, and my husband is home full time. This business is our full time income. We don't do anything else. So um, I, I absolutely love it. Anyway, okay, so host a post. What I want you to do is write down the word host a post <laughs> and then is life. <laughs> um, and then I want you to write with in a little like asterisk or whatever, um, ask sponsor for host to post videos, host to post resources, because I'm going to throw a lot of info at you, but there are endless <clears throat> videos um, and resources on our team page. So just make a little note, ask sponsor about host to post, okay? So what host to post is, is basically asking someone to post a status for you. And what's really cool is, okay, so you probably joined this business and one of your biggest fears is that you don't want to be annoying, you don't want to bug your friends, you don't want to turn into a billboard, you don't want to be salesy. Great, I don't want you to be like that either. And what's awesome is host to post allows us to not be like that. Um, you don't have to plaster your wall with like somebody else mentioned, you know, like it works belly wraps and um, coffee, I mean, I do, because <laughs> I love our coffee, but you don't have to look salesy when you do it, because host a post is you're going to be asking people to post those kind of salesy-er statuses for you. Now, tiny disclaimer, the statuses that you're going to give these people are not salesy. Um, they're just the way that people are going to um, be brought into your network. Um, this is a big one, write down, ask sponsor about different posts, okay? I think people might be putting some stuff in the chat. Um, I, I'm not looking at it because I'm very squirrel. So um, ask your sponsor about what posts to give people. The easiest and quickest way to get the host to post ball rolling is our giveaways. So every single month we do a big giveaway, we pull just a couple dollars together, um, each person, each month, and we do these big giveaways. This month, we're giving away $200 every week, which is so awesome. That means we get to bless four or five different families with 200 bucks, and the way that you can post about this is, um, so on your wall, you can make a super easy, I'm holding my phone up, if you, if you want, you can just jot that down or somebody can put it in the um, chat. But what you wanna do is you'll just make a post on your page and it's just gonna be something so easy, like tell me what time you're seeing this post. Um, everyone will get entry to win 200 bucks this month, okay? And everybody who comments on that post, you are going to send each of them a message and your sponsor can help you with that message. It's a super easy message. Who doesn't want to win 200 bucks, right? So you're going to have everybody who comments on that post make a post for you. And boom, that person has now become kind of a mini distributor for you. They've made a status for you. That status is going to get comments on it. Some don't. It's okay. Don't worry about it if it doesn't get comments on it. Um, but the quickest way is to make that giveaway they post like what I just showed you. Oh, that's my timer going off. Apparently I'm talking too long. Um, but if you can master post to post, you guys, it will absolutely take your business where you believed it couldn't go. Like not to be whatever, but Cassie and Samantha, those two that they promoted to Diamond in 90 days, I know it was 100% because of post to post and because they stayed in contact with their sponsor, they asked them questions. Um, and something really fast that I just wanted to touch on, um, host to post, especially like I said, this week has really changed the game for me. I um, I had to kind of rush for a family emergency out of state, 
and I have still been able to keep up with my business. I've still gotten up like five to 10 host to posts every day, even since I've been here. And um, because of that, I still have new potentials. I have new people seeing my posts. I have new people that I'm talking to. Um, and I know that because of host to post, my doors have remained open. So we don't have to pay for advertising. We don't have to pay for commercials. We don't have to make billboards. We don't have to turn our personal pages into this salesy thing. Post to post is what is going to bring people who are interested in losing weight or better skin or longer hair or making an extra income or heck, they want to, they want 200 bucks from a giveaway. Um, post to post is going to bring those people that want what you have on your page. And then you just get to be the positive, inspiring, shy or bubbly or entertaining or funny, whatever person you are, you just get to be you. And the people that are going to come into your network from host to post, they're going to be blessed by you. And so I'm super excited. Okay, I am passing it on to Lauren. I know I went a little bit over. Um, okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lauren. And um, I've been in this business for about 17 months now. Uh, before it works, I was a new mom. I worked, um, I built a home-based bookkeeping business that I ran by myself. Um, we just still lived paycheck to paycheck. We wanted more out of life. I struggled with my identity after I had my son because I was just a mom now. I didn't, I didn't know what I was supposed to do, and, but I did know that I wanted so much more. I did not want to, um, go to work every day to make somebody else rich. I didn't want somebody else to raise my son. I wanted to stay home with him and I wanted so much more. So I kept watching um, Alyssa's posts. I kept seeing her posts. I was a, a customer for many years with this business before I became a distributor. And it just kept tugging at my heart that this is what I needed to do. And I just, I struggled with it because I was with another network marketing company before this, and I was not passionate about the products. I was not passionate about the business. I just was not successful. I wasn't serious about it. I didn't work it the way that I work this business. And so I was scared to start a new company um, because what would people think? How would people take me seriously? How would people trust that I'm serious about this and that I'm going to stay consistent with this when I've already just stopped another company. So I prayed about it. I talked to Alyssa about it and I finally just decided that I just, I had to find out if this was going to work. I had to find out if this is the path that I needed to take and if this is what was going to help me with what I wanted for my family. So um, I started and I I was not consistent. <laughs> I was not consistent in the beginning. I was not serious about what I was doing with the company. And I just kind of, um, kind of coasted for my first few months, but then I just kept remembering why I started this business and what I wanted it to do for me. And so then I really got serious about it. And I went from, um, January at conference of this year, I went from, uh, a paid, executive just went Ruby and then and I think it was in April I went diamond and then I brought my boyfriend's account to diamond in May and so it's I mean it has changed everything for us it's changed everything for our family it's allowed us um, to pay off debt it's allowed me to stay home with my son every day um, more recently it's allowed us to be able to have my mother-in-law move in with us and take care of her while she's getting um, cancer treatment. It's, it has changed everything for us. I've met the most incredible people in this business. I've grown in my confidence and my faith and everything. Um, it, it really has, you know, you've heard some of the other girls talk about it, but it's not just about the money. It's, it's about how it's completely just, just completely changed everything. So the things I want to talk to you about, um, tonight are, you know, the, the top three things that I wish I would have known before, when I started and the things I would have done differently. Um, the number one thing I wish I would have <laughs> known more about and uh, known just how important it is, is just what Emily talked about, mindset and personal development. 
this business is a very personal business. We put a lot of our time and a lot of our energy, a lot of our emotions into this business. And there's going to be people that are ugly. There's going to be people that just live to tear you down. There's going to be people that tell you no. There's going to be people that say it's a pyramid scheme. They're, it's just you're going to hear negativity, but you're also going to hear positivity too. But you have to work on yourself. You have to work on your personal development every day so that these things do not just tear your business apart. If you go into a restaurant and they ask you if you want um, an appetizer or dessert after your meal and you say no, they don't get upset and go quit their job. You know, you, you're going to hear no, but you have to, you just have to work on yourself and you just have to know that what you're doing is for a reason. You have to know why you're doing this business. You have to know, you have to be sincere about what you're doing and about how you're working your business and it, your, your mindset, it, you're going to manifest what you're thinking and what you're putting out there every day. And if you're just, um, you know, poor pitiful me, somebody told me no, and this and that, and I'm having a bad day because everybody's saying no, you're, the more people you talk to, the more no's you're going to hear, but the more yeses you're going to hear too. So you just have to get your mindset right. You have to work on yourself every day and it's, it's going to, to completely shift everything. The more positivity that you speak over yourself, over your team, over your charts, over your business, over your customers, over everything, the better it's going to be. I promise you. When I first started this, I was like, I don't need any personal development. That's so silly. I don't have time for that. It is completely game changing for your business. The second thing I wish I would have, um, known how important it is, is consistency. This business, you have to be consistent. If you take off a day, you might as well take off three days. If you take off a week, you might as well take off the whole month. It is so hard to catch back up if you take off time. Oh, I'm having a bad day. I'm not being positive today. I'll work tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I've got stuff going on too. Well, okay, I'll work the next day. I promise after the weekend, I'm going to get back on track. You cannot do that. You will set yourself back so far if you continue to take time off. You have to be consistent. Like Lindsay said, something every single day, every day for your business. It doesn't matter what it is. Do something every day for your business. We have a KPI tracker, your six list, whatever. Use those lists. Check it off. Stay consistent. Your, your Facebook page, your Instagram page, whatever platform you're using, that's your storefront. If you are not um, posting every day, if you're not consistent every day, people aren't going to know that you're serious about this. They're not going to want to join you as a distributor if they don't think that you're serious and you're passionate about this because you're not going to be consistent helping them. If people aren't uh, seeing you post every day about how great the products are, if they're not seeing you, if you're not following up after you told somebody, you're going to love these products, you're going to do so great in this business. If you're not staying consistent on doing these things, nobody's going to take you seriously. You have to stay consistent. It will help your business. Um, another thing that I wish that I would have known or uh, done differently when I first started, like I said, um, I first started and I just kind of coasted for the first few months. Staying connected. It is so important. I worked just hard enough to get my shopping spree when I first started. And then I didn't show up to any Zooms. I didn't show up to any um, trainings. I didn't stay in touch with my sponsor. I just didn't do it. And it, I just wasn't motivated. You have to borrow your motivation from people sometimes. You have to, there's nobody in this world that wakes up and goes to bed motivated 24 seven. It's just, it, it's not, you cannot be motivated every day. But if you're plugging in and you're staying connected and you're asking the questions and you're borrowing that motivation from somebody else, it will help you. It will help you stay on path to being successful in this business. You have to stay connected. So. I just, I really want you all to, to just know how important it is to just listen to everything that all of these leaders are telling you. Be serious about your business. Be serious about why you started this. If you have to write it on a sticky note and put it on every 
cabinet door on next to your toilet paper so you can look at it when you're going to the back. I don't care where you put it. If you have to write down all of the reasons why you started this business so that you remember and you can stay focused and you can stay connected and you can, you can use that as your motivation, then do it. You have to stay connected. You have to stay um, disciplined. You have to, you have to stay consistent and you have to work on yourself every day because if you don't, you're not going to be any good for anyone else. You're not going to be able to pour into other people and teach them things and show them how great they can be and how great that you know that they are. So you have to work on yourself too. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to Alyssa and let her um, finish off with some final thoughts. Hello, hello. Last but not least, I am so excited to close off with you guys. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Alyssa. I started, okay, so back up, way back up. Um, I grew up pretty poor. Like I grew up in a trailer park. Um, I had, you know, I saw so many people around me with like, you know, alcoholics, people on drugs, like all this stuff around me as a kid. And I was just, I would drive down streets with like big houses and I had friends in school. I'd go to their houses, huge houses. I'm like, how do these people have this? And so I always grew up like looking, I'm like, how can I, I need to have better than what I have now. So I, I did the, all the right things, went to school, got the degree, got the job in my field, um, knitwear designer, super cool title. <laughs> and um, it's still, you know, it wasn't really enough. I was looking on Craigslist for odd jobs, like how I could do things to make a little extra money here and there. Um, and then I was just randomly on Instagram. My friend was posting about products. So Sebastian was one years old at the time, my son. Um, he, I just had like 20 pounds of baby weight I wanted to get rid of. So my friend was posting about something and some products. So I'm like, okay, I think I want to try that. And so at the time it was like a whole free product pack for $99 with signing up as a distributor. So I just did that. I just let the product sit on my counter for like two weeks. They didn't really do anything with it. But then in the meantime, while this was all like, I signed up, got the products. And then within two weeks, um, Bishop, my man moved to Colorado for a job in oil because we needed more money. He gets to Colorado, the job falls through. So I'm in Minnesota by myself, taking care of Sebastian with, I'm like, I can't afford everything, daycare, credit cards, rent, groceries, gas, everything by myself. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? And I'm like, oh my God, I have those products and that thing, I could do this as a business, I think. So then I finally tried the products, um, loved it. I think I lost 12 pounds in like two weeks with the product pack that I got. So I'm like, this is the ticket, like I gotta do this. Like I was on fire and the girl that I got the products from and signed up with was making just as much as I needed to pay for daycare. So I'm like, if she can do that, I got to do this. So I was like, what can I do? She actually ended up quitting like a month or two after I started. Um, so I was like very researchy. I watched, I went on YouTube, watched all the trainings I could find, plugged into like learned as much as I could to be as best as I could. Like I was desperate and inspired because when I was on YouTube learning about all the stuff on like how to run the business, of course, you hear stories of different leaders in the company and um, I love how rich I'm very green. I'm very red and very green if you know the color personalities. So I was like very like crazy researcher, like tunnel vision, like psycho about researching. So anyway, I was like, <laughs> I heard all these stories and this girl that was just like me who was 28 when she started, had kids, um, went to college and she was making like $14,000 a month with this business while doing her job. So I'm like, okay, if she can do that, then so can I. And like, that's when I, just went for it. Um, I went diamond in nine months. Fast forward to now. Um, I'm double diamond now. I just promoted to double in June. I got Bishop's account to Emerald. And so now we're on the, on the train to triple, chugging our way and we're going to get there. So I'm just really excited to pour into you guys about trusting the process because it's just really important. And I'll kind of repeat what a lot of people said already, but you have to be a student and be willing to learn every day and be coachable and listen to what we as leaders are saying to you tonight because you know you just started an entirely new industry like luckily we don't have to go through school and pay for a fancy degree to do this but you have to take it upon yourself to learn and be a student in the industry even though we don't have to pay for it which is amazing um and just be resourceful and find the answers like grow your skill set it's all there for you free information on the internet to learn how to be a millionaire with this kind of business like it's there for you you have to go find it um <clears throat> And then take what you learn and apply it. Like, don't just soak up all this stuff that you're listening to and learning is no good for you if you don't apply what you're learning. Um, like Alyssa said, I mean, a bunch of us have said, like, none of us started with a $500 a month head start. None of us started with thousands of followers. That's all learned and you can build it up over time. You just have to take it upon yourself to grow your skill set and apply it. 
Um, I mean, how many of you hear a tip on something and you say to yourself, like, I should do that. Like, and then you don't follow through. You say you should, but then you don't do it or you put it off. I challenge you to replace the word should with will. I will do that. I will learn TikTok. I will make a follow-up list. I will be consistent. I will pop in on the people I've been talking to, post consistently, add new friends, just do it. Like hey, say it out loud. It will bring power into your body if you speak it out like that. Cause then your brain's gonna be like, okay, I said I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, and you know, what's cool to think about all of us on this Zoom speaking, do exactly the same things as all of you do. If you're brand new, we do all the same things with you. We just done more of it and for longer. So people at the top of this company have heard no way more than any of us. They've been blocked, ignored, lied to, people saying they're gonna order and they don't. All the things you're gonna go through, we have already gone through. So just trust the process and know you're, you're gonna get through it. Like, I mean, I was just blocked like three times yesterday because I kept following up with these people about joining the business for, you know, $39. I'm like, I'm trying to change your life. Like you ignore me, I don't care. I'm gonna keep bringing it up until you block me, that's fine. Just saying, like we all go through that stuff. Just don't let it take you down and keep going. Um, you know, you're here tonight, you're learning, you're putting in work on a Sunday when most people aren't. So that's something to be really proud of. Um, and just like I say, take action, apply what you're learning. The amount of actions you take is going to determine how far you go. People settle all the time and they stop taking action. I cannot tell you how many people I see put in a month or two of hard work and they quit before they reap the benefits of the seeds that they're planting and all the work they did goes to waste. Like I see that so often. And it's so sad. Don't be that person. Just know the work you're putting in today is going to pay off. Your, your skill set's going to grow and you're going to get better. Um, and just be willing to take action and be messy before you're perfect. It's hard to get better and look better at the same time. Like you're going to be, you're going to fall for, fail forward, fall on your face, make mistakes. Um, just let go of how your work is perceived at the beginning because it doesn't matter what other people think of you. Someone else's perception is out of your control. Just don't be afraid to make mistakes and fail. Failure is part of the process, just execute. And guess what? The more you execute and the more you fail, the more you make mistakes, the less you're gonna care. And the less you care, the more you're gonna execute. And then the better you're gonna get. So just straight to, stay true to yourself and trust the process. And if you're not confident yet, you're gonna get confident with the more actions you take. One action doesn't build confidence. It, it's the consistency of the actions that you're doing that you're gonna get better and gain confidence with. Um, so how cool would it be if like the first three people you signed to your team were rock stars and they took off and then you made it to the top of the company? Um, very unlikely, but if, imagine if that happened, that'd be crazy. But if that did happen, you would have no idea how to build a business and you wouldn't have any insight or advice to share with other people. So it's always going to be easy. No, but we don't get judged on the things that are easy. Okay. We, you know, the, the, the yes will build your business, but the no is going to build you. So what if we, this is a, something I want you guys to do for the, net, the rest of the month. Let's focus on the no's that you get. If you all shoot to get 200 no's, like check off every no that you get because guess what's gonna, guess what's gonna happen on your way to getting 200 no's? Some people are gonna say yes. When, if you just focus on the no's, like how many no's can I get? Let's get to that 200 no's. You're gonna get some yeses in between there, I promise you. Um, so that's like 100 people, talk to 100 people the next week or so, like that's, mm, a little over 10 a day. I mean, it's kind of extreme, but I mean, if you want to, you have these big goals, that's going to be worth it, especially with the sea planting season we have coming up. Um, and that's another thing the, the people that do tell you no on your way to that 200 are going to come around after the boom season. They're going to come around when they have New Year's resolutions and they want to make more money in the new year and get over this year of 2020. Um, and I just want you guys to think about you're a farmer. Like I say this to my team all the time. We are farmers in this business. And when does a farmer's seed planting season start? Does anyone know? It's like March or April in the, you know, in the spring. And then when does this harvest, harvest season comes around October or November? So does the farmer still plant seeds even though he knows he won't see a harvest until six or seven months later? Yes, he does because he knows what's coming. So we're telling you tonight, if you're consistent and you do what we're telling you to do and you show up every day for your business, there are huge life-changing moments coming into your life in six months, even a year, even two years. Like some of you are two years away from like a life-changing happening. So what's two years compared to the rest of your life? Like if you put in like hardcore work for two years and you're set up for a lifetime of financial freedom and time freedom, that's going to be completely worth it. So just think about that. You're going to have to make sacrifices. I think Samantha was talking about, you might have to Say no to your family on the weekend sometimes and tell your, you know, tell your husband to take your kids to the park without you or whatever so you can stay and work. Like, it's going to be worth it though and the sacrifices aren't going to be forever. So like if you knew you were going to be making $20,000 a month in three years from now, would you just put the pedal to the metal and go for it? <laughs> I think you would all say yes. So just imagine what your life would be like 
six months from now, if you didn't face your fears and you didn't show up for your business, would it look the same as it does now? And how would you feel about that? There's millions of people who die with regret. So don't let that be you. Your fear of staying the same has to outweigh the fear of change and putting yourself out there and doing something new. So it's time to either you can face everything and rise or fear everything and run. So it's up to you and just know you have to trust the process. And I tried to go really quick. That's all I got for you. I know I talk super fast. <laughs> um, I know we just like went super over. So that is all I got for you guys. I just want you to trust that you're, what you're doing now is going to pay off. Just trust it, learn and apply what you're learning and you're going to be golden.